So I want to make something today, something I can do in just one day, actually. Something I can start at the beginning of the day and then finish it, but I don't know what. <laughs> I know, I could do a Hawaiian shirt for Venom. Mm. For the colors, I'm thinking a yellow and red with a lime, no, like an aqua green accent color. And it won't be a vibrant or bright red. I'll use like a very desaturated hue. And for the pattern I want, mm, starfish. Whew. All right, where's Venom? Da, 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 da. All right, and so now this flat piece of paper will be 20 centimeters around and then eight centimeters long. I don't think I normally do it this way. No, it doesn't need to go around like this. It needs to open up and cover his shoulders like this. This is what you want. This is the back part here, and then this will wrap around the front, and then these parts meet on the side. All right, now. One other thing I do with my models in this prototype phase is sometimes I'll just slap some tape around an open area to just indicate how, how much extra paper needs to be there to cover the space. So now it's just time to cut this open and see what it will look like as a flat piece of paper. Here we go, Whew, that was a bit tedious. This is a separate part here that I've removed from the lower part of his shirt because I want it to flick forward as you'll see here in the final model. Which way does the paper have to curve to, for the collar? In and out, or...? And this is what the shirt will look like when it's all done as a flat piece of paper with the collar being two separate pieces, actually. This is what I was trying to figure out in that clip earlier is this is going to be the middle section between this area and his actual collar, and it's actually curving down a little bit, and what that means is when you attach it to the model, it'll be angled outward slightly rather than straight like that. Just makes the collar look like it's sitting on his shoulders and since he has an open shirt, this is how the fabric will probably naturally sit upon his shoulders, so. And simply creating that little curve in the middle there is going to create just like a bit of an indent on, on his back here, like that. So you can see, it just makes it a bit more interesting. And it's the same on the sides here. And you can see that just creates a natural curve in the paper like the shirt would have when pulling tight around the body. And then these parts will come down here like this to meet on the side. Oh damn, there's a mistake. This doesn't line up. This side worked out much better. <laughs> oh, that's looking pretty good so far. Kind of a bit feminine, these colors on Venom. Maybe I should just leave it as a vest. And here is what the collar looks like attached and oh man, it was a bit of a pain to get this on so Now this will just slide around Venom's torso like this Put the arms back in boom And now there's a rough copy for his sleeve so yeah, that'll do like I don't need to perfect this And so this is what the sleeve will look like flat colored and then it folds together like this by just meeting these parts here for the upper part of the shoulder and then this will wrap around. Now here it is, all the pieces of the t-shirt. This is what the uh, sleeves look like as individual parts. And of course the main shirt vest part. Then for the shoulder parts, they just slide through here 
like this and it's a pretty tight fit but it does it does fit the other one and then these just slide into the body and when they've slid all the way in they will hold the shirt in place and bam that is what it looks like and I must say for a one day project this was totally worth the time it, it ended up looking really good it makes Venom look even bulkier than he already is I think the color choice contrasts and works really well nicely with his very dark color oh I just love this yeah this is real cool this is really really cool <laughs> uh, thank you for watching everybody I appreciate your time and attention as always and man this is what do you think comment below what other accessories should Venom have this is very fun all right bye bye